Hi everyone, welcome to Hey Dad, my reaction channel. This is Dad, and tonight I'm going to be reacting to Nightwish song, Romanticide. Thank you everybody from the Nightwish Army for uh, reacting to my first video and commenting and teaching me. Uh, Nightwish was a new band to me, but not as it turns out to my sons, who've been listening for quite a long time to Nightwish. So I want to get into it more, and I appreciate all of your advice for which song to listen to next. And uh, my son gave me Romanticide to listen to, so let's give it a listen to it here. And hopefully I have the volume up loud. Uh, some of you commented last time that I needed to have the volume up, so here we go. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, this has the hallmarks of a heavy metal song. I uh, I seem to have offended some of the Nightwish Army when I said rock instead of heavy metal in my first reaction video. Uh, this looks like another Vakken open air um, performance, and um, I don't know much about that venue, but I don't know why it was offensive to say uh, rock is uh, heavy metal a genre of rock. And uh, if not, it's its own genre. This seems similar to me. So um, I like the hair flip there from Floor. That was a dynamic performance. Um, so what is it that distinguishes heavy metal? Um, and my sons will have to tell me. What is it that distinguishes heavy metal to you? Is it that driving bass line? Is it the... Um, uh, the hard drums, the operatic voice. What is the distinguisher of heavy metal and why do you listen to it? Why do you like it? Uh, it's loud in my ears for dad. Certainly I've listened to the heavy metal in my life before. Heavy metal was around in the 70s. Um, I just saw, I was just researching our, one of our local venues, which was uh, not what you would think of as a rock venue. But we had several bands come through in the 70s, and I was looking through the bands. I remember working for the Heart concert and the Sticks concert when I was 15 in the 70s. But as I looked through the band list, I realized that there was other bands. Judas Priest apparently played there. And um, if I had that right. And so, you know, heavy metal's been around a long time. And um, but what is it that you like about it? Now let's. Uh, I'm gonna try to listen to some lyrics as we go along, not just some music. And uh, is this a sad song, a breakup song? What is this about? Romanticide. What killed romance? <laughs> Okay, um, well that tells me what the romanticide is. 
Till love do me part, which is a um, an angst variant of the wedding vow. To love do us, to death do us part. That's what it's supposed to be. To death do us part. That we love our partner until death. Uh, to love do me part. So this is an angst song. It's a breakup song. It's a uh, end of romance song at high volume and uh, so what makes angst different in heavy metal than is angst different in emo music or uh, angst different in the blues uh, or angst different in folk music so um, is this just the blues with high high energy it's the blues that's not sad but angry. Till love do me part. Alright, we have some time left and let's see what it's about. interesting that the um, probably rhythm guitar was echoing the bass line there uh, and then they came in with the lead shredding guitar which is pretty good pretty stellar shredding and um, I'm enjoying the musicality of course uh, it's a tight band right it's a tight band uh, they know each other they're playing well Cease to tell me how to feel. Okay, I won't tell anybody how to feel. Although I wonder why there's so much angst. Seems to be the common thread of my reaction videos to wonder uh, for my kids in your generation, why is there so much angst in your generation? I don't recall that in my music from growing up in the 70s when I was a teen. Why is there so much angst in your music? But I won't tell you how to feel. I'm just observing, just reacting. time we're going through.
I don't have hair to whip around like that. Maybe that's why I don't listen to metal. I don't have hair to whip like that. <laughs> um, uh, that was quite a shriek of pain at the end. So if you're going to have a pain song, love causes you pain. If you're going to have a pain song like that, uh, I guess that's the way to shriek it. Again, good musicality, great performance on an outdoor stage. I miss outdoor concerts like that. I got to get back to them again. I just went to a venue, to an event at a small indoor theater. Holds maybe 2,000 people. It's not the same as an outdoor uh, high energy performance like that. So uh, everything was there. Lighting, staging, musicality, fireworks. It's quite a show. I imagine that was worth the ticket to go see that. Um, pain, high energy pain, romanticide. So I guess the question of the day after Valentine's Day, as I'm watching this, the day after Valentine's Day, uh, is romance dead? Did you did you uh, did you share Valentine's Day with someone romantic? Um, is Valentine's Day dead or is it alive with you? What do you think of this, uh, Nightwish Army? Why is this song important to you? Uh, tell me more in the comments. I really enjoyed uh, interacting with everyone in the comments after my first reaction. And uh, will again. So, positive or negative? Uh, I did learn from uh, both the positive and negative comments last time. So, leave me a uh, some thoughts in the comments. Why do you like heavy metal versus rock, folk, blues? Um, driving guitar, shredding guitar, driving bass, those massive drums, her operatic voice, all of it together, the high energy pain, the angst, is that what you like? And uh, uh, this band's going to grow on me. I'm two songs in. I'm sure I'm going to listen to more. Um, I hear they have a Celtic background as well. I'd like to hear some of the Celtic work. So leave me a comment maybe what's more Celtic of theirs. Uh, whether it's a live performance or a, a, an official music video. I'll listen to both. And um, to all of you uh, watching on the day after Valentine's Day um, was Valentine's Day uh, positive for you? Was it a day to celebrate romance? Or was it a, an angry uh, OD to, to love, uh, as the songs say? To love, do us part, do me part. To death, do us part. That's the vow. That's the vow. Okay. And I'm 42 years of marriage into the to death, do us part vow. So, Nightwish. There's lots more to get into, I'm sure. You're going to tell me what song to listen to next. What's Celtic? Should I stay with this Vakken Open Air series? Uh, should I look at something earlier? And uh, where do I go from here, Nightwish Army? Hey, thank you for your comments. I appreciate you. Happy belated Valentine's Day to everyone. And uh, be well. I wish you not angst. I, w I wish you love and peace. Uh, peace. This is Dad out.